first down for Hampton. Picks up the snap. Looks to the flat. Has a man. It's got his tail back. He's going to try and pick up the first down after the catch. He's going to lose the football. And we've got a flag that came out late on the field. Bunch of receivers set at the top. Play action. Goes to the receiver. Passes incomplete. And the Pirate defense able to get a stop. Is intercepted and it is returned for the touchdown. James Allen read the quarterback's eyes the whole way. Snap. He'll fake the pitch up the will fake the hand up the middle pitch to the outside of Wilson. Wilson turns the corner, tackled near the 30-yard line. Loose it out the bottom of the formation. Johnson gives it right up the middle again. Another strong run from Ronnie Harris. Send the man in motion. Three receivers this time for. Across the southern, there's the option as we talked about Gerald. Pitch out to the outside. For Charleston Southern need to get to their own 44-yard line to extend the drive. Johnson, back snap, he's gonna have to run with it. Looking for a hole, and he's brought down Wells short of the first down. So nice high punt. Coverage team. Tries to keep it out. Let's see what the officials say. And that say. was a great effort there. Three different Pirates really tossed it back in from the end zone. Some, some strong offense to go look to throw. Going to throw Faye route has the receiver. In touchdown for the Pirates. That was number 81. Bonds on the reception. The freshman. See our touchdown pass. So the kick is going to be short. It's a high kick. will be... Fielded at about the 20-yard line. Return man will find some room to work with along the sideline. Still in bounds. And it looks like he's going to take it all the way back for the score. 80-yard kick return for a touchdown for James Allen, who had the 16-yard interception. Third down. Johnson, under pressure, goes. The interception by the Pirates defense. 10 Five touchdown Hampton. That was number 47, Caleb Brown. And almost looked similar to the pick six from Charleston Southern in the first quarter. So Johnson looking in to get in the shotgun. He'll drop back and throw the ball. He has some time. Pressure coming and he is sacked and in the backfield. Still, that's Jack Chambers still in at quarterback. Welcome back. This is your halftime report. The current score is 35 to 14 with the Buccaneers taking the lead. The Buccaneers came out very strong on the both sides of the ball, so it's been a great start for them. Pirates came out a little bit shaky, but we did see a fantastic fumble recovery from Norman Oglesby on the Pirates, allowing them to score and get some numbers on the board. We also saw a pick six from Jordan Brown on the second quarter. Up next is Matthew White and Gerald Evans with your Geico Halftime Report. Turns the corner before he takes a big hit. But look how he just bounced right off the defender. And and the first down ball just shy of the 35 yard line. Hampton's in the motion. Dixon, the pitch is McKenzie right up the middle. He's got room to work. Rolls over a defender before he's brought down by the second defender. Yes. Third and just three. Seven shotgun once again. And they will hand the ball to, all to McKenzie. He will get the first down and more. Pass to 50. Pass to 45. Goes out. Just at the 45. Nice run there for McKenzie. Fired offense. Showing some life here. Dixon under pressure. He's going to tuck it and run across the 40. The and he's going to be forced out of bounds near the 38 yard line. Five and a half minutes remain. Dixon. Shotgun. Looks downfield. Has a man on the flat. Again, he'll have the first down. He's got to secure that football. In the Paris, I definitely take a shot at the end zone right here. I think that's what they're going to do. Nixon's going to throw it up to his receiver, and it will fall incomplete. They come to about fourth and two. Did you go for it now? At this point, you got to from Hampton. McKenzie looks to try and pick up the first down. He's going to be near the marker. Buffy is proud of the box, see if they can get a push on the offensive line. 
Hands off to McKenzie and he's going to be short. Dixon makes the handoff from the roll to his left, throws downfield, has Bell, I believe, right at the first down marker is Bell. Ball goes up to McKenzie and he fumbles the football. The football is on the ground and it looks like Charleston Southern's got it. Charleston Southern has got it. Covered so by Southern. So what you have in the roller deck or the playbook, if you will, for down. Chambers under pressure, though. He's going to have to throw on the run here. He's under direct and intercepted by Yarasuba. He looked like a center fielder. Had a very solid game. They scored in several unconventional ways. Not to take anything away from this team. To actually be a 37 man in motion. And we hand them up in the middle. And the running back from across the 10 to the 5. And a touchdown again for the Buccaneers. That's Dunbar. And it was all Buccaneers from the start. They said to me and I would do it. 48 to 14 is the score. Pirates with four fumbles and an interception. That's so five total turnovers. And that'll about uh, wrap it up here at Armstrong Stadium with the final scores.